Donald John Trump, born June 14, 1946, Queens, New York City, son of Fred Trump, a successful real estate developer. Trump's childhood was privileged. He attended New York Military Academy, discipline issues, maybe, but he thrived there. Academics and athletics, early signs of ambition, college at Fordham University, then the Wharton School at the University of Pennsylvania, economics degree in 1968. Wharton became his calling card, proof of his business acumen, or so he claimed, 1968. Trump joins his father's company, Elizabeth Trump and Son, the, the family business. By 1971, he takes control, renames it the Trump Organization. The Trump era begins. His focus, middle-class housing, Brooklyn and Queens. But Manhattan beckoned. Bigger buildings, brighter lights. Thus, the 1970s, Trump sets his sights on Manhattan. Luxury hotels, office towers, the Grand Hyatt Hotel, Trump Tower, Trump Plaza. His name became a brand. Opulence and extravagance, gold everywhere. But controversy followed. Lawsuits, accusations of discrimination, questionable business practices. Trump's response? More self-promotion, bigger claims. The show, as they say, must go on. The 1990s, financial troubles hit. Atlantic City casinos struggle. Bankruptcies mount. Critics pounce. Mismanagement over leveraging. Trump weathers the storm. His secret? Licensing his name. Trump stakes. Trump vodka. The brand expands. Success, or at least the appearance of it, persists. 2004, a new stage, reality television, The Apprentice premieres, contestants vying for Trump's approval, business tasks, the catchphrase, you're fired, the show is a hit. Trump becomes a household name, not just a businessman, a personality, a brand. The line between reality and TV blurs, Trump University, more products, more lawsuits, the cycle continues. Politics beckoned. Trump flirted with a presidential run in 2000, the Reform Party. Nothing came of it. He remained a vocal commentator, cable news appearances, opinions on everything, trade, immigration, the Bertha conspiracy. June 2015, the announcement, Trump is running for president as a Republican. This time he's serious. The campaign, unconventional, controversial rallies, speeches, attacks on opponents, make America great again. The slogan catches fire. Political analysts are skeptical, but Trump gains momentum. He taps into anger and frustration, immigration, trade deals, the swamp in Washington. His message resonates. He wins the Republican nomination, the general election. Hillary Clinton, a bitter fight. Trump's victory shocks the world. He loses the popular vote, but wins the electoral college. The impossible happens. He becomes the 45th president of the United States. Section 5, the Trump presidency, economic policies and domestic agenda, January 20th, 2017, inauguration day, America first becomes the guiding principle, Trump's priorities, the economy, jobs, trade, tax cuts, deregulation, a booming stock market, unemployment falls to record lows, success or a ticking time bomb, the opioid crisis rages, healthcare remains a divisive issue. Trump dismantles the Affordable Care Act. Promises of a better replacement go unfulfilled. The debate continues. Section 6. Immigration, foreign policy and the judiciary under Trump. Immigration, a signature issue, a border wall, a Muslim travel ban, family separations at the border, controversy erupts, foreign policy, America first means withdrawing from international agreements, the Paris Climate Accord, the Iran nuclear deal, alliances are strained, Trump appoints three conservative justices to the Supreme Court. Neil Gorsuch, Brett Kavanaugh, Amy Coney Barrett. The court shifts to the right. Abortion rights, gun control. The balance of power tilts. Section 7, impeachments, controversies and the Capitol riot. The Trump presidency mired in scandal, investigations, obstruction of justice. The Mueller report, no collusion, but questions remain. December 2019, Trump becomes the third president in US history to be impeached, abuse of power, obstruction of Congress. The charges stem from his dealings with Ukraine. The Senate acquits him. 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic, the world shuts down. Trump downplays the virus, the economy tanks, his approval ratings plummet. The 2020 election, Joe Biden, a deeply divided nation. Trump loses, he refuses to concede, spreads baseless claims of voter fraud. The big lie takes hold. January 6, 2021. A day of infamy, a mob of Trump supporters storms the US Capitol, an attempt to overturn the election results. 
Democracy hangs by a thread. Trump is impeached again. Incitement of insurrection. He is acquitted once more. Section 8, post-presidency, enduring influence and the 2024 election. January 20, 2021. Biden is sworn in as the 46th president. Trump retreats to Mar-a-Lago. His grip on the Republican Party remains strong. He continues to spread the big lie, endorses candidates who support his claims. His influence is undeniable. November 15, 2023. Trump announces his candidacy for president in 2024. Can he recapture the magic of 2016? Only time will tell. Section 9. The truth of Trump, a complex legacy, Donald Trump, a polarizing figure, a master showman, a businessman turned politician. His presidency was tumultuous, unprecedented. His supporters praise his economic policies, his tough stance on immigration, his appointment of conservative judges. They see him as a savior, a disruptor, a fighter for the forgotten man. His critics denounce his rhetoric, his policies, his behavior. They see him as a threat to democracy, a demagogue, a narcissist, the truth, somewhere in between. Trump's legacy is complex, flawed, but undeniable. He changed America for better or worse. Only history will judge.